What's up guys, this is Bo with Tech Paintball. In this video I'm going to be showing you a little bit of high speed footage of the Tech Zero Kick Hammer as well as some footage of the Stock Hammer. I'm going to be comparing them, explaining a little bit about what's going on as well as what type of performance benefits you can gain from the Tech Zero Kick Hammer. So let's get right into it. So this first set of footage that I'm going to show you guys is the Tech Zero Kick Hammer and the Stock Hammer filmed at 1200 frames per second and overlapped. As you can see, the Tech Zero Kick Hammer leaps off of the sear and travels forward much faster than the Stock Hammer does. This means that the Tech Zero Kick Hammer strikes the valve before the Stock Hammer does, and this is a very important point. The way that I like to explain this to people is you can relate the Stock Hammer to a big, slow-moving train. Although the train is big and slow because it's heavy, it strikes with a lot of force and opens the valve to propel the ball. The Tech Zero Kick Hammer, on the other hand, can be related to a small, light, fast-moving Ferrari. Although it is smaller and lighter, it is traveling faster and therefore strikes the valve with a similar amount of force to open it and propel the ball. This means that you're going to lead your target less. Because the hammer strikes the valve sooner, which in turn releases air and propels the ball sooner, the amount of time in between when you pull the trigger and the ball hits its target is going to be substantially less. So you're going to be able to lead your target less. This next set of footage I'm going to show you guys is the exact same footage, only instead of being on top of each other, they're next to each other, and you can see them a little bit more clearly. The second point that I want to make to you guys is not only is the hammer reaching the valve faster and therefore propelling the ball earlier, but the entire cycle is taking less time. As, these watch, as you watch these two move, you can tell that the Tech Zero Kick Hammer strikes the valve and comes back to its resting position substantially faster. That means that you're going to be able to fit more cycles in any given amount of time, thus meaning you're going to get more balls per second. The third thing that I want to point out to you guys is the amount of kick that each produces. Although they are propelling the ball at a similar velocity, the fact that the Tech Zero Kick Hammer weighs less and has less reciprocating mass causes it to have less kick. So as you can see, both move forward, strike the valve, and come back. When the Tech Zero Kick Hammer is in its resting position, the cocking rod does not move very much, nor does the body move very much. But with the stock hammer, when it returns to its resting position, you can see the body continue to shake, and you can also see the cocking rod continue to shake and move until it finally comes to a rest a few moments after the Tech Zero Kick Hammer does. So that about wraps it up. I really just want to show you guys how much faster the Tech Zero Kick Hammer is and explain to you a little bit about what that means. If your hammer did not come with a spring, please contact us and we will make sure that you get a spring. You can call us at 901-405-1848 or you can shoot me an email at bow at Thanks for watching, guys.